Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof of the small occult elite of Erston, the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and St. Eulalia, also known as Barcelona Cathedral. Said to be built predominantly during the 14th century. This structure is not an ancient church, but rather advanced technology of the old world that has been repurposed to destroy our true history. Magnetrons are present in all old cathedrals. They were built to vibrate at certain frequencies. This design can give off large amounts of energy because of its symmetry and conductive materials. The glass in these buildings were surely not meant to be there, because it severely hinders the vibrational process. The idea that people long ago built these in this specific fashion, and had no idea of its electromagnetic potential, is laughable. Look at this cathedral. Do you notice anything strange? Why did that window happen to be shaped like that? The old people designed and built this window to look exactly like magnetrons or speakers, but for some reason had no knowledge of what they were and what they could do. It is just ridiculous. How many people walk by this cathedral every day and don't make that connection in their heads? Is there a single person that regularly visits this building and looks at that window and thinks wait a minute? This is the Santa Maria del Fiore in Versailles, France, completed in the 15th century. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. By the way, this is Bis Castle, Slovakia. Built in the 12th century, on the site of an earlier castle, by the Hungarian Empire, one of its main missions was to defend the region from the Tartars. Surrounding stone fortification protected the inner palace from the Tartars while raiding these regions in 1241. The fire in 1780, and the usage of the castle's stones for the building of other mansions, left it a ruin. It was not before 1969 that the reconstruction process begun and is still being carried on today. I will share a little story about legend of the Tartar princes. In the 13th century the Tartars decided to besiege Spiss castle. They hid in the woods trying to find a way to conquer the fortress. They realized the castle had only one weak point. Water. The castle was built on a rock, so no wells could be dug. The only water the people of the castle could count on was rainwater. Meanwhile, the king of Spiss decided he would not wait for water supplies to be empty before organizing the defense of the castle. He sent soldiers to neighboring woods, tasked with kidnapping the Tartar princess, they succeeded. The king of Spiss and the Tartar king came to an agreement. The Tartars agreed on leaving the region in exchange for Princess Shot's return. But Shot and the son of the king of Spiss castle had fallen in love and decided to get married. The day of their espousal, one of the Tartar soldiers infiltrated the castle and killed the princess with an arrow in the heart. The arrow carried a note from her father which read, This is your wedding present. There is one tribe where a lot of people have six digits, the Warani in Ecuador, and normal-sized people that have some among them that exhibit giant characteristics, such as six fingers, six toes, and double dentition. Medically, the Warani turned out to be something of an enigma. 
They had no trace of cancer, no cardiovascular disease, no high blood pressure, no allergies, and none of the known diseases familiar to us. Like the giants of past ages, they are physically very strong and healthy. What do you think? The Story of Cannons Spanning several hundred years from the 12th century to modern times. Some of these massive old cannons look like they've never been used and seem like it would be a hard task to use, depending on how they would get mounted. The cannons that screw together, where does the gunpowder go? From the front. The design is odd and doesn't make sense. When using these cannons like the old way, they crack easily using gunpowder and blow into pieces. Bronze is stronger than wrought iron and not as brittle as cast iron. Though cast iron guns can withstand greater amounts of gunpowder and thereby have greater range. What do you think? Sound, vibration, frequency, free energy, bells. Once we had the beautiful world exhibitions in the 1900s, the buildings of which were also destroyed, equipped with free energy, which is still closely connected with the tower built by Nimrod of Babylon, the building has always stood there. And we look at the tale from the wrong side as it wasn't built but demolished. The connection to the higher energies and the free energy were symbolically destroyed. What do they have in common? It all has to do with sound, energy, and frequency. What do you think? Hidden in plain sight. Right before our eyes, buried no longer to be seen. What was here that was so important that they built the tower right on this spot? What do you think? This is what they are indoctrinating your kids with. This is the low vibrational 3D energy that they want to keep the world in as long as possible. They want you to be godless, sexless, genderless, childless, depressed, anxious, afraid, fat, drug addicted, lonely, physically weak, mentally weak, in debt, isolated, living in a pod, eating bugs, and dependent on the state for everything. Truth is the first step to freeing ourselves from the hologram reality, raising the collective consciousness of humanity, so that we could move into the new 5D Earth. Once humanity can identify the evil, we can surely get rid of it. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.